Welcome to episode 1512, Cliff Asness, Quant Hedge Fund Billionaire, Nine Lessons. This is an outline of episode 1512, lesson 1 to 5. This is lesson 6 to 9. And 1, according to Asness, Quant model is equal to value plus momentum. He places more emphasis on value. And two, diversification is as important as timing. You did. Not, not in a tactical sense again, but just in a, they're underappreciated from the diversification, particularly if you're amenable to even the most mild use of leverage to restore the, the risk. That diversification is important. Lesson three, buying cheap is better than buying expensive. Time arising, buying what's cheap and pretty much any way, price divided by something reasonable. Price divided by earnings, books, sales. Just buying five-year losers. Five-year stocks that have, that have suffered and, and, and selling or, or, or underweighting the opposite. If, if people make errors of any kind, value's gonna work. And four, more hedge, lower fees. Better deal for investors. I think to tie this together, hedge funds are pursuing some of these simple strategies we've been discussing. A big part of what they do, things like carry and momentum, for instance, very big in the hedge fund, in the hedge right. fund world. So partly they're making their money doing simple strategies and charging very, the, the fees you would pay for great complexity that you can only buy from one place for. And a, and a better deal would be, number one, that they change their strategy so that it, it's more- uh, More you know, hedge, lower fees. Okay. Lesson five, institutional investors save AQR in early days. For the next 18 months, uh, the internet bubble began and the markets completely decoupled from fundamentals and our assets went from a billion dollars through performance and redemptions to $438 million. Lesson six, best student, best reputation of the University of Chicago is his thesis advisor was Nobel laureate Eugene Fama. Is around part of the firmament, and most importantly, if our intellectual reputation is similar to today. Since seven, two dropout billionaires of AQR, David Kabila and John Liu. Astra's return of AQR since 2019. First, Cliff Asner's net worth dropped from $3.1 billion to $1.4 billion. The other two co-founder billionaires of AQR, that is David Kabila and John Liu, both dropped out of Forbes billionaire list. In That's an A. If it works two-thirds of the time, it's fine. I say this strategy works. It works two out of three years for 100 years. We get small p-values, large t-statistics, if anyone likes those kind of numbers out there. So we think we're reasonably sure the average return is positive. It has horrible streaks within that of, of not working. If your car worked like this, you'd fire your mechanic. Lesson nine, AQR focuses on education and transparency. As firms go, I think we have more of a focus on education and transparency than many or even most. That dovetails perfectly with people who love and produce research. It's a wonderful combination and it's one that will continue, I hope, for a long time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.